Beers Blend, my name is Ronald and welcome back to another whiskey review. As promised, today we are going to take a look at the Glen Grant 10 year old. There is a 12 year old and there is an 18 year old in this lineup. There might be even a 21 year old, I'm not sure, but the 18 year old gets really expensive, it's above 100. Um, and the 12 year old, well, it's about 30, 40, this, I paid 30 for this. But it really depends because it's not really that available so if you can get your hands on a Glen Grant that well has this type of bottle uh, there are other Glen Grants uh, not each stated uh, out there and there are also all the bottlings but only get this bottling this is the better version of Glen Grant um, I've tried some others didn't really like them some older bottlings uh, not each stated uh, the more cheap stuff that you can find uh, regularly but the, this stuff with the green box etc that's the really really good stuff <coughs> from Glen Grant it's 10 years old it's bottled at 40 percent and well it, uh, it is chill filled of course because uh, well just th that's how things are uh, done today I don't want to mess with my settings here Glenn Grant is the testament of Major James Grant's brilliant mind. He created tall, slender stills and unique purifiers to capture only the finest vapors from raw elements of the heartlands. Yeah, sure. Established 1840. That's something. Uh, there is a, a picture on the box of the stuff, the purifiers, etc. With an ingenious mind and a characteristic personality, James Grant the mayor was only 25 when he inherited the Glen Grant distillery. They put like the letter he, but it looks like a B. They have a really fancy font there. Uh, it's a space height, uh, of course. That's also, I, s I forgot to mention. Uh, a forward thinking and uncovered man, blah, 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 blah. Glen Grant 10 year old displays bright golden color with a sweet pear and vanilla bouquet. The Elegant single mold dances on the palette with gentle notes of orchid fruits and butterscotch. The finish is satisfying, long, and complex. Right. Interesting and all. Nice box design. Sturdy cardboard. Like that. They have Glen Grant on the side. Oh, you can actually see that. That's nice. So, yeah. Simple. Oh, there's stuff on here. Meet Farb stuff. So yes, it is colored. <coughs> uh, nice bottle design. I really like this bottle design. It's slim, it's elegant. I love it. There is color added, but in my opinion, not a lot. I don't want to pour too much. I am going to compare this to the Stronicky 12 that I reviewed in the last video. This is a whiskey that I really enjoy. I uh, want to pick up the 12 year old, the 18 year old is a gem, uh, I've, I have been told so, but it's expensive and to be honest uh, for that kind of price there are other whiskies out there that I would like to try, it's just that case, you know, it's like you used to have a couple of options but now you have so many and that's a good thing, don't get me wrong, but well it's also a sad thing because you don't get to try everything yeah on nose this is pear light fruitiness uh, mild bourbon cask influence you don't get hit in the face with honey and vanilla etc you notice the fruitiness the conference pears the little bit of a wipe grapey note Spices for 10 years old, for 10 year old whiskey. This is a nice note, in my opinion. It's not that well, it's for me, it's hard to pinpoint with this, and I don't know what it is. Maybe that's one of the reasons why I like this whiskey so much. You sniff it and you get like, well, what am I, what am I smelling here? It's definitely more on the lighter, fruity side. This could have done better with a couple more abv uh, points maybe 43 46 if that would have been the case it would have been a really nice whiskey but i do think the nose is suffering a little bit from that 
and low ABV. But normally your space side whiskies, it's mostly sherried and it mostly hits you in the face with fruitiness. That's not the case with this. If somebody told me this was a Highland, I would believe them. Of course, the Speyside region is in the Highlands of the Scots, like of Scotland, but like it, it's geographical stuff. But um, like the, the Highland whiskies and the Speyside whiskies differ that the Highland whiskies are a bit, little bit more subdued, a little bit more bourbon cask influence. Sometimes they have a little bit of peat in them, that kind of stuff. And Speyside is mostly uh, sweet and sherried and well, yeah that but this this i get it's a little bit of a mix in between on the nose yeah the bottle has been uh well airing for quite some time but it still it still has that that characteristic that i remember sure it might have subdued a little bit but it still has that little bit of zing on the nose like well this is this is what you are about to taste will be nice Arrival. Hmm. It has a mouthfeel like velvet. It's not that oily, creamy mouthfeel or a thick mouthfeel. It's like velvet. It starts to coat your whole mouth. It starts to tingle. It brings the fruitiness, the sweetness, and the bourbon cask forward in such a good combination. It's just elegant. It's an elegant whiskey. It's not a whiskey that hits you in the face with uh, too much honey or peat or sherry or that kind of stuff, you know? This is a whiskey that's everything. To me, yes, maybe the nose could have been a bit more pungent, but yeah, like I said, that might be because of the, well, the time that it has been aired. But the taste, it doesn't last that long on the aftertaste. That's one thing I'm going to say right now. Velvet. I get some citrus, some grassiness. The, the thing that, that it leaves you with is a little bit of barrel note, some darker fruits, tangerines, oranges, and honey. And then a little bit of vanilla. This could pass for an older whiskey, in my opinion. They put 10 years on air. I like, I really like that. To me, it should be a law that, uh, well, distilleries put an age on the bottle. Um, yeah, that's, that's just my opinion. And the minimum ABV should be improved too. 43% but I am not the Scotch Whiskey Association so I'm sorry but I cannot make that happen but if that would happen the whiskey world would be in a much 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 better place they say there has been coloring added but I think it's it's less than with uh, the Stronachy the legs do move quite fast though so yeah do with that information what you want but i just i i i, I need to it's butter now i got butter a little bit of a woolly sensation like a fluffy fluffy butter or something i don't know but It 
it's really well balanced and for a young whiskey that is something because you get whiskies that are more spirit driven or that have cask influence like the Stronicky. it's 12, it's it's two years older but it has really big influence of the the honey etc that i think come from the casks and that is more bitter honey this is more a balanced honey this is everything is just balanced in here it's rounded it might not be that deep but it's a 10 year old whiskey you don't get really deep and complex 10 year old whiskey because it is just not possible but the because the complexity and the deepness and the variety in taste and smell come from time and well this is only 10 years old but it's better than a lot of 12 years old that i have tasted or even older whiskies that's one thing that i can tell you right now or like you have non-age stated whiskies you can tell that this is aged and well that might not be you know what i mean and the thing is this has that deep a little bit of a deep dark undertone telling you that yes this is a whiskey that it might not be old number wise but this has taken the time and used it wisely caramel yeah i don't know this, uh, this is a whiskey that i can't fully describe i have well clearly spent some time with that bottle but i just i i cannot pinpoint this whiskey 100 percent. i just can't the only thing is i wish the aftertaste lasted a little bit longer so in the next video i will be comparing uh, the Stronicky 12 to this one because that might just give a better idea of the two whiskies uh, I think the Stronicky is even a Highland I, I, I'm not really sure if it is but this is a space side that's 12 this is 10 that's a higher ABV than this but that's not the point of that comparison I will be uh, well talking about that later but the main reason to make that comparison is to give a contrast be because a, a different con contrast of what these whiskies offer the sonicky is more upfront pungent whiskey this is more laid back relaxed and easy whiskey and i want to talk a little bit more about that so that's what i will be doing uh what kind of mark am i giving this well uh price wise it's amazing i paid uh, it was on sale i paid 27 euros for it for this i if, if i come across this bottle again i i will buy it simply because it's well unless they ask like 40 or something for it but if, if it's around the 30 mark i will buy it again because it is really good and i haven't seen it that often and this is a whiskey that i really enjoy so i will be giving it a good mark that's for sure and the only thing is what kind of mark am i going to give it um i think yeah i think this one this is a good mark i will be giving it a 9 out of 10 simply because it, it offers a lot for me price wise it's good there hasn't been that much coloring added but i would have wished it would have uh, had a higher abv that would have made this whiskey a 10 out of 10 because there would have been so much flavor etc etc but you can tell with this whiskey that glenn grant put effort in it they 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 didn't just bottle a 10 year old expression to get a cheaper version of their whiskey out there because some distilleries do that they bottle a, a younger expression more of an entry expression into the line and hope that people will buy the more expensive stuff and generally people do but this is a generally good product and well you don't get a lot of 10 year old whiskies you get 8 year old whiskies 12 year old whiskies around 15 16 year old whiskies 18 21 25 that's normally the range you get but this is a 10 year old and i think it's the perfect entry level for glenn grant whiskies i only wished that well they had like a 15 or 16 years old but i don't think they have um if i ever get around on finding another bottle of, of, of well this lineup of glenn grant i will buy it nine out of ten i love it if you get a chance of buy, buying it it's not that expensive i just suggest you get it it's not overly peated it's not overly sherry it's not overly bourbon casky it's just a nice well-balanced whiskey and and like every time somebody comes to my house and well they see all my whiskey 
and they say I want to try some I always pour them this because this is just a perfect balanced whiskey and uh, a lot of people also say that about Glenfiddich 12 year old and I want to get to try that but there is just so many out there and I just don't know what to get all the time but uh, yeah this is one of the well best entry level whiskies that I've had but not entry level as in this is a whiskey that's boring etc no, this is a whiskey what paints the picture what in my eyes a whiskey needs to be and, and not like thrown to one side but embrace all of it and just show you well this is what it can be but what I give it to people because it's not that well strong etc that's also a reason like saying something is a beginner's whiskey can have two me two meanings a beginner's whiskey can be easy to drink and not have a lot in it because it has low abv it, 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 it it's just like high alcohol water basically but you can also have a beginner's whiskey that paints a picture of what whiskey can be without being too overpowering on the peat or the sherry side or the bourbon side like that starlicky and this does that this does that last thing and that's why i think it's such a good whiskey it's such a shame that it isn't available uh well everywhere it's it's pretty limited but i think they are making uh, more well i know they will be making more so they will put out more whiskey same with glen cannon glen cannon has been putting feet on the ground for the last couple of years and they have started to get popular etc and now they put out more and i think the same will happen with glenn grant and i will be very happy about that i thank you for watching and i will catch you in the next video where we will be comparing these two and i will tell you all about uh, well having more than one whiskey because that's something i have at the moment about i don't know 15 bottles open and well that's also i want to talk about thank you for watching and i will catch you next time goodbye